Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about money market. Money market is a market for short term funds. It deals with financial assets and securities which have a major, um, maturity period ranging from a single day up to a year. It is a wholesale debt market for low risk, high liquid, short term instruments. This market is dominated mostly by governments, banks, and financial institutions. Now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of money market. Money market is a market for short term financial assets that are close substitute of money. It is a wholesale market for short term debt instruments. It is not a single market but a collection of markets for several instruments. It facilitates effective implementation of monetary policy of a central bank of a country. Transactions are made without the help of brokers. Here in money markets, uh, it establishes the link between the central bank and the other banks. It is basically on over the phone market. Money market is basically uh, over the phone market. The players in the money market are central banks of the country. Uh, in the case of uh, India, there will be a central bank. In the case of other countries like USA, there are several central banks. So uh, I have mentioned central banks, governments, commercial banks brokers and other companies organizations relating to short term funds now we'll discuss the functions of money market the as i have mentioned earlier money market plays a vital role in the economy the first function of money market is it facilitating adjustment of liquidity position of commercial banks business undertakings and other non-banking financial institutions. It enabling the central bank to influence and regulate liquidity in the economy through its intervention in the market. Money market providing a reasonable access to users of short-term funds to meet their requirements quickly at reasonable cost. Money market is providing short-term funds to the government institutions. It enables uh, businessmen to invest their temporary surplus funds for short period. It facilitating, facilitating flow of funds to the most important users and serving as a coordina coordinator between borrowers and the lender of short term funds. Lastly, it is helping in promoting liquidity and safety of the financial assets. The instruments which are traded in money market. There are so many instruments uh, instruments traded in money markets. First of all, call and short notice money, then commercial bills, treasury bills, certificates of deposit, commercial papers, repurchase agreements, money market mutual funds, depository depository receipts like American depository receipt global dep depository receipt, etc. Now we have to know about the components or composition of money market. In the money market, there are several sub markets, namely number one, call money market, number two, commercial bill market, number three, treasury bill markets, then certificates of deposit market, then commercial paper market, acceptance market, and collateral loan market. Now, we are going to discuss the characteristics of a developed money market. A developed money market has various characteristics. Number one, it has highly developed commercial banking system. Commercial banks are the nerve center of the wholesale, uh, of the whole short term funds they serve as a vital link between the central bank and the various segments of the money market 
when the commercial banking system is developed or organized, the money market will be developed. The next characteristic of developed money market is presence of a strong central bank. In a developed money market, there is always a central bank. The central bank is necessary for direction and control of money market. Central bank absorbs surplus, surplus cash during off seasons and provides additional funds in the busy seasons. This is done through open market operations. Being the banker's bank, central bank keeps the reserves of commercial banks and provides them financial accommodation in times of need. It is said that without the support of a central bank, a money market cannot be functional. The next one is ex existence of submarkets. Money market is a group of various submarkets, as I mentioned earlier. Each submarket deals in instruments of varied maturities. There should be a large number of submarkets. The large, the larger the number of submarkets, the broader and more developed will be the structure of money market. Besides the submarket. Uh, submarket must be interrelated and integrated with each other. If there is no coordination and integration among them, different interest rates will prevail in the submarkets. The next characteristic of developed money market is availability of credit instruments. The continuous availability of readily acceptable negotiable securities that is near money assets is necessary for the existence of a developed money market. In addition to a variety of instruments or securities, there should be a number of dealers, that is participants in the money market to transact these securities. Next one is existence of secondary market. There should be an active secondary market in these credit instruments. The success of money market always depends on the secondary market. If the secondary market develops, then there will be an active trading of the instruments. The next characteristic is availability of ample resources. There must be availability of sufficient funds to finance transactions uh, in the submarkets. These funds may come from within the country and outside the country. Underdeveloped money markets do not have ample funds, thus availability of fund, sufficient funds is essential for the smooth, smooth and efficient functioning of the money market. The ne next characteristic is demand and supply of funds. Money markets should have a large demand and supply for funds. This depends upon the number of participants and also the government policies in encouraging the investments in various sec sectors and monetary policy of the central bank. And the last characteristic is uh, some other factors. It includes industrial development, volume of inter international trade, policy stability, trade cycles, foreign investment, price stabilization, etc. These factors al also influence the uh, money market. Now, money market can be can be designed uh, in a diagram. The structure of money market can be designed in a diagram. Uh, we will provide those diagram in the uh, slide. Now we are discuss we will discuss about the participants of Indian money market, going to Indian money market. In Indian money market, the participants are, first of all, number one, governments, either state or central governments. Next is the Reserve Bank of India, the central bank. Next, commercial banks, cooperative banks, financial institutions, institutions like IFCI, IDBI, ICICI, IRS, SIDBI, UTI, LIC, etc. Discount and Finance House of India, 
various brokers, mutual funds, public sector undertakings, cooperative units, etc. Now we will have to know about the characteristics of Indian money market. Indian money market have some specific characteristics. First of all, number one characteristic is existence of unorganized, unorganized segment. Organized sector consists of RBI, commercial banks and financial institu institutions, etc. The unorganized sector consists of indigenous bankers, money lenders, seed funds, needies, etc. In India, we have this un uh, unorganized sector, which is a special characteristic of Indian money market. The RBI does not have the control over the unorganized sector and they do not follow the rules and regulations of the RBI. The next seasonal scarcity of credit. Another important characteristics of Indian money market is the seasonal scarcity of loanable funds and the consequent high rates of interest during the busy season. But in the off season, banks have surplus funds, so they are eager to lend more and more and often reduce the rates of interest. The next characteristics of Indian money market is lack of integration. India's money market has a several segments, but the second segments are not connected with one another. Each part of the money market such as RBI, uh, uh, such as um, SBI subsidiaries, the foreign exchange banks, the cooperative banks and the uh, indigenous banks carry on a particular type of banking business or provide a specific type of financial services. Each financial institutions acts independently. The next characteristic is the absence of bill market. The existence of an organized bill market is essential for linking various credit agreements uh, with the RBI in an effective manner. No doubt there is a treasury bill market in India, but the commercial bill market has not been fully developed. In 1970, the RBI introduced a bill market scheme known as new bill market, new bill market scheme under which the RBI rediscounted uh, genuine trade bills. The next characteristic is uh, volatile, volatile call money market. The interbank call money market is the market for short term funds known as money at call and short notice. The borrowing rate in this market is known as the call money rate. This rate is determined by the market forces that is by the forces of demand and supply. The, dem the demand or short term funds organized, uh, originates from the all types of banks, nationalized, private or foreign. Most banks, bankers are either borrowers or lenders, but most banks act as both. Now, we shall have to look into the defects of Indian money market. There are so many defects in the case of Indian money market. First of all, existence of unorganized segment is a great uh, defect in Indian money market. Then lack of integration, disparities in interest rates, seasonal diversity of money market, absence of organized bill market, shortage of funds, inadequate banking facilities, inefficient and corrupt management, limited instruments, limited number of participants and no contact with foreign money markets are the other defects of Indian money market.